Beloved, do you know that stealing puts you in the camp of the devil and gives him lordship over you? Please, don't steal. Let somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. By the special grace of God, we are looking at a topic that says, Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not steal. A Bible passage will be taken from the book of Ephesians 4, 27 to 28, while our memory verse is Exodus 20, verse 15. Let us pray. Thou shall not steal is one of the ten commandments that God gave to Moses. During the time the Israelites were moving to the promised land. And it's commandment that is meant for every one of us to obey and hold on to. They are commandments from God. Therefore, Lord, we ask of you this morning, as many that will be watching, listening to this devotional, Lord, help that individual. If the person used to steal before, let the person steal. If the person is planning before, to start prifling. Lord, help the person not to attempt it. Lord, we bless you for the grace you have given to those who do not steal, who do not take what does not belong to them. Lord, may you help us to continue like that till we meet with you in Jesus' name. Give us the energy to work and make our own money and buy our own things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. That shall not steal. A Bible passage, Exodus chapter 4. Let's just quickly read it. It's not a long one. 27 and 28. 27. Neither give place to the devil. 28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Instead of us stealing, we should work with our hands and even make enough to take care of ourselves and our family and even help the needy. That is what God expects of us. May the almighty God help us to achieve that in Jesus' name. Amen. Our, mem our memory verse is Exodus 20.15, which you know already, Thou shall not steal. May the Almighty God help every one of us to obey these commandments and others in Jesus' name. Amen. The loss of the eyes, the pride of life, and the loss of the flesh. They are the reasons why many people take what does not belong to them. The obsession to have it all without working for them and being controlled by material things will eventually lead to stealing. God wants you to have everything you truly need but in his own way and at his own times. He is willing to give you everything you need and more. But you must seek him. You must seek him, have him. Live in righteousness because the Bible says, seek him first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Nobody can bless you more than God. So it is better you wait for God's blessing because it will make you rich without any form of sorrow. It make it rich and added no sorrow to it. According to Proverbs 10, 22, don't let the devil deceive you with flashy things. In the book of Mark, it says, 
that all the material gains in the world will profit you nothing if you lose your soul. What will it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul to hell? It will profit you absolutely nothing. Praise the Lord. So please don't trade your soul for material things. Don't trade your soul for gains by stealing. Nothing at all in this whole world can be compared to your soul. Nothing is worth your soul. Our God frowns strongly at stealing. If you desire to have more, work more. Ah, that is why I love the advanced people, the advanced countries. You know, if you people have the chance to work more, if you have the ability to work more, you work more. But please, don't work the one that you will kill yourself. Just work and wash your health, wash your capability, and make sure you are in good health. But for our most African countries, even when you are willing to work, you will not even find the work to do. May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name. But please, whether you are in Africa or you are in advanced society, if you want more, you can do more. If there is no conventional work for you to do in Africa, use the little that you have and start a side hustle. Start a side business, a side hustle, and use it to augment. And the Almighty God will help you. God will reward and bless the works of your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. So the moment a person takes something that does not belong to him or her without the permission of the owner or under false pretense, that fellow has stolen. There is no way you can describe it. Stealing is stealing in whatever form, whether through internet, whether through letter, whether through any form. Stealing is stealing. In short, what belongs to another person that you will take that that person may not even want you to have it. It is better you ask the person before you take. If you're not sure whether you are permitted to have it, ask the owner, can I have something like this? If I need, the person will say, ah, feel free. Anytime you need it, you can have it. I mean, that is more honorable than stealing what does not belong to you. In 1 Corinthians 6.10, the Bible makes it clear that no thief will enter heaven. The devil is the father of thieves. Because according to John 10.10, 10, say here that stealing is the first assignment in the, in, in, in the devil's life. Say he has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. So if you are stealing, it, it simply means that you are the son of the devil himself. Because if the devil has come to steal and you're following suit, you yourself have come to steal, that means like father, like son. I don't think the Lord say that the founder, the founder of the redeemed Christian Church of God, uh, Pa Josiah Akenda, I mean, used to say that your father will take care of you with whatever he has. So, if your father is God, then he will take care of you with healings, blessings, and long life. But if your father is the devil, he will take care of you with sickness, material, uh, marital problems, death, and the likes. Thieves should never expect God to answer their prayers because God is not their father. If you are a thief, it means you have taken your fathership to another and you should not expect God to answer your prayer since he's not your father. According to the book of Leviticus 6.4 and Exodus 22.1-4, God said that if you have stolen something, you are to return it to the fellow in double fold 
You have stolen one yam, return two yams to the owner. You have stolen two thousand, return four thousand to the owner. Because you stole it, it was not yours. So you must return it in double fold. Don't keep stolen properties in your possession. It can destroy. It can destroy. And finally, let him labor, working with your hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give him that needed, according to Ephesians 4.28. Ask God to give you the strength, great strength, the power, the enablement to work. Work and do more with your hands so that you can have enough to enjoy and get all that that you need without stealing from another. May the good Lord help us. May the good Lord strengthen us. May the good Lord give us that strength to work and work fervently in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Our hymn today is hymn one. All hail the power of Jesus. Let us sing this song. Don't miss singing this uh, hymn. You know, hymn has its own special duty in our lives. You know, it's internalized. Go right inside your body and nourish it. Those words in the hymns are great. They can heal. They can make, they can build. Live on it, dwell on it. God bless you. I appreciate every subs every returning subscriber to my channel. I also appreciate those coming to my channel for the first time. Please do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share with your friends, families, colleagues, neighbors, and what have you do have a great day